The walk starts from Church Stretton Station. Walking up the main road in Church Stretton. Now entering the Carding Mill Valley, surely the most famous walk in Shropshire. The end of the road, and now the path into the Carding Mill Valley proper, and soon we'll be making the steep climb to the top of the Long Mind. At this junction, we take the path to the right, and as you can see, the climbing is about to come in. A splendid view, looking back the way I've just come. Still heading up the Carding Mill Valley, you can see the absolute clear path. Looking back the way I've come, down the Carding Mill Valley to Church Street. That's the way I've just come. Now on the top of the Long Mind, there's the Heather Moorland. Now heading towards Pole Bank, the very summit of the Long Mind. Look at these sweeping views. Sadly, the weather is very hazy in the day. A Jack Mitten Way long distance footpath sign. Now along the ridge of the Long Mind, striding along towards Pole Bank. As you can see, it's very hazy. But here's a view of the stiffer stones and the devil's chair along the ridge. Tree point at Pole Bank, there is summit of the Long Mind. There are the stiffer stones again from the summit of the Long Mind. It's too hazy really to look along at these views today. There's heat in mint, heading to Thornton Hill. From the top of the Long Mint. There's a view of Caradoc, which is near Church Strip. There's the famous wood near Pole Bank. Now on the road, which runs along the top of the Long Mink. That's the way forward. Oh Deep Joy, the Midland Gliding Club. The route slants off along that path to the left, past the Gliding Club. I wonder if they'll want me to hurry up for their launch as they are some years ago. I've now joined the route of the Shropshire Way. In fact, it's the Shropshire Way shortcut route between Bridges and Craven Arms. Now on the track known as the Port Way, the visibility is slightly better. There's Heath Mind and Corndon Hill. Hooray, away from the gliders on the grassy pathway of the Port Way now, heading for Plowland. Still proceeding along the Long Min Ridge along the Port Way. A battery of footpath signs standing out are the Jack Mitten Way and the buzzard symbol of the Shropshire Way. A little further on, just look at those colours. Looking back the way I've just come. More views of the port way. Now beginning the spectacular descent to the A489 main road at Plowden. Shot your way sign from the descent to Plowden. The end of the portway as it joins the minor road at Plowden. This used to be a railway station on a long closed line between Bishop's Castle and Craven Arms. 
Notice the letterbox in the wall. After Plowden, there is some road walking. Then the walk comes to this junction of three paths. I will be taking the centre one. Further along the path through Young Conifers, there's an extremely steep ascent coming up. As promised, there is a steep ascent. At the top of the climb, the walk turns right through this gate and then proceeds through several fields to the village of Edgeton. We're still on the Shropshire Way, by the way. Shropshire Way signs on the outskirts of Edgeton village. From Edgeton, the walk follows a bridleway and then goes up this steep bank. Steps have now been provided, thank goodness. Of course, one advantage of all this climbing is that there are now great views back to the Long Mind. That's where I descended to Plowden. That's looking down from where I've just come up from Edgeton village. The walk joins a road and passes through the scattered hamlet of Round Oak in order to access the next path over Hopesay Hill. Now on Hopesay Hill, this is where the walk turns decisively left and heads straight for Craven Arms. It's also the spot where the main Shropshire Way rejoins the shortcut Shropshire Way which we've been following. There are some views from here but the haze is a bit grim. Approaching Craven Arms, yet more named walks. The far one is a Shropshire Way sign. A new style Shropshire Way sign. There it is, Craven Arms in the distance. Nearly there. The final style onto the road at Craven Arms. The end of the walk at Craven Arms Station.